Uh, for those of you who haven't met me, my name is Chad Thomas. I'm a principal at Matter and Craig. I'm the head of our Structure and Bridge Division. And I've um, been there almost 20 years now. So um, I, I'm happy to be here tonight. I'm going to do a brief presentation just regarding the current condition of the bridges. Uh, Alan and I have been working real close together uh, to keep up with these, and, and Richard and I have spoke as well. So uh, the city has an inventory of eight structures that they're currently um, that they're currently responsible for. And I looked this up the other day, I, I sort of couldn't believe it, but Matter and Craig's been inspecting those bridges on and off since 1988, so uh, 30 years. We have a long history with your structures. Um, I'm gonna go through each bridge uh, real quick, all eight of them, uh, just to give you an idea of the condition and, and just some general information about, about each one. First one is structure number 1801, it's Route 220 over Dry Run. It's built in 1966. Uh, it's a culvert, so a concrete box culvert. In general, the structure's in good condition. Um, and I, I know Alan and I have talked, and have done some paving out there recently uh, over the spring. Um, what I've done here is given you a construction cost estimate for each, pr for each bridge, and I just want to be clear on those estimates. Um, those include engineering, and a contingency fund, uh, as well as the, the items that we feel need to be repaired. On this particular bridge, the main thing that would be left uh, would be to repair the sidewalks. You can get a, a view there of the sidewalks uh, going across the bridge there. Um, that number, 71,000, does, um, does include the asphalt, which has already been complete, though. So the cost estimates were done about this time last year. That would include, excuse me, cleaning out the culverts. Yeah. And and the rail that you saw there is part of what needs to be addressed. And just last weekend, uh, unfortunately, a doe decided to go across there and she took part of the rail out and landed in the creek. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's all inclusive of what we need to do with that yeah. culvert. Other than cleaning out the box, the sidewalk repairs and the rail? Yes, sir. Is the On this particular structure. Mm -hmm. And you can see the amount of, of debris there inside the box. That continues all the way through. Uh, the next structure is 1802. That's Route 18 over, over the railroad, built in 1985. Um, in general, uh, this bridge is in good condition. It's a curved structure. It has curved uh, uh, plate girders, steel plate girders. Um, the, the numbers there, the general condition ratings, the, the best number you can have is nine. Um, so you see sevens across the board for the deck, the superstructure, and the substructure. Um, the, the reason for the high price tag it are, are two main items. Um, the expansion joints on the structure um, have never been replaced. And that's the, that's the left hand shot there. This is an expansion joint there. That material, uh, in general, uh, an expansion joint can last 10, 15 years, approximately. So it's, it's past time to, to fix those. And what, and what happens is that deteriorates over time. You get water and salt that you put on your roads, get down onto the steel, and corrode that steel over time, which can lead to, to problems that you don't want to have after, <laughs> after a while. And then the, the other major ticket item is uh, the deck and the sidewalk. Um, you can see here in the right hand shot a lot of cracking in the sidewalk and the deck has, has some cracking like that as well. We're recommending uh, using a treatment on the deck that will waterproof it um, and, and seal up those cracks uh, for a period of time. But it's still right to so. Yes, sir. Yeah, those, those, those are not structural, major structural issues, but they are items that are preventative maintenance that can help help extend the lifespan and of the bridge. The, the expansion joints, is that replacing them or is that put concrete? It is replacing them. We can look at close unlock though, but on a curved structure like this, um, they tip, VDOT typically does not recommend that. Okay. <coughs> Just down the road from that, uh, Route 18 ever was built in 1977. Um, you'll see the, the condition ratings there, a 7 for the deck, 6 for the superstructure and the substructure. Just so you know, the superstructure is everything just below the deck, beams, all the steel components of the bridge, and then the substructure would be what would support the beams. Um, 
again, a, a high price tag mainly due to, to two items. Um, the expansion joints again, you can see this material here on the left. This is the joint. Uh, some of it is ripped. There's areas where there's um, it's separated from the concrete, allowing water salt to get below. And, and then you see the, the result of that. This is a bearing um, at one of the abutments and, and the beam coming out from that. So you see the corrosion on the beam. Uh, right now it's not in a, in a condition where it's structural, but it can be. Um, so we're recommending replacing the joints and, um, and then cleaning and painting uh, the ends of the beams at every joint. Now this is a, this would be a bridge, Mayor, that, that would be a candidate to close up the joint since it is straight. And what that does, I mean, just to let you know, closing up the joint is, is VDOT protocol now. So they, the bridge wouldn't have a joint on the bridge. It, you wouldn't have maintenance issues like that. If I were designing a new bridge at this location, it wouldn't have joints. <coughs> Culvert 1806 and the next one, Culvert 1807, are on Route 18, and they both cross Mill Branch. They're both in good condition. Uh, the main, the main concern here is that the guardrail doesn't meet standards, and that um, there's some vegetation and stuff around the bridge that needs to be taken care of. But the guardrail here, and then um, the next structure is just down the road from that. Uh, this one actually has some debris inside of the structure as well. So these are relatively, uh, rel relatively good condition. Both, both of those are on 18. Yes, sir. <coughs> One's there at Whitey's, and the other one is up around oh, okay. the turn. Okay. <coughs> um, structure 8001 is Rayon Drive over Jackson River. Last time I came and talked to you, uh, it was it was to discuss this structure in particular. Um, structure has steel beams. It was built in 1950. Um, and there was some painting done in 1992, was, I think, on certain parts of the structure as well as some patching in the deck. Uh, last year, Madden and Craig performed a deck evaluation on this structure and uh, lowered the rating of the bridge deck to a four, which is poor condition. That's what your bridge deck looks like now with all those. We, gra we graffitied up your bridge deck for you. Um, but what those areas represent are areas of deterioration. And, and what we found from that evaluation is that the bridge deck needs to be replaced. Um, it no longer is of useful service. So um, Alan and Richard and I, and, and then last time I was before you, I, I spoke about uh, be, trying to get VDOT funding for this through their State of Good Repair program. Um, that's still the plan. In order for the bridge to qualify for that plan, uh, one of these items has to be a four, uh, which it now is. So um, that was our goal to get that get that um, deck down to a four, and we were able to prove that. And uh, there's going to be two different options. We have to decide which option we want to approach VDOT with. One is just the deck replacement, which which tallies about two million dollars. And then the other would be a complete superstructure replacement, which would include the beams, which is almost three. Um, just so you know what the beams look like. Um, the beam, the picture on the left is a main beam there. That's the type of deterioration we're seeing underneath um, where the joints have leaked. Notice how right at the ends of the beams you get more deterioration. You'll see some out here at the mid span, but there's no, there's no loss of section there. No major structural issue, but when you get at the at the piers and at the abutments, you start to see section loss in the beam. And I don't know if you can see it; the picture is not that great. But this is a set of diaphragms on the right. Um, yeah, right out of joint. So back to back diaphragms out of joint, and there's holes in this diaphragm here. So that's the type of section loss that you're seeing. Um, if we don't replace the beams, we might we would push to include at least a cleaning and painting of the steel. And that's not included in the deck replacement. That's correct. Uh, just just for your for your information, the, the SGR portal opens in November, 
the matter to Craig if claims I'm assisting Alan and Richard and who, whoever else wants to be involved in, in submitting this project for that for that program. Structure 8002 is East Hawthorne Street over the railroad, built in 1900. It's a historic steel truss. Uh, there was a repair done in 2006. The project in 2006 was funded by VDOT. Uh, the bridge has a fiber reinforced polymer deck uh, to increase the live load capacity on the bridge so the bridge doesn't weigh as much, so it allows heavier vehicles to cross it. Um, Matter to Craig is currently under contract to do repairs to this bridge. Um, and just to give you an update, we're involved with VDOT uh, trying to figure out the best way to uh, put an overlay on this structure. You notice the picture on the left is the fiber reinforced polymer deck there with the hammer, and it has an epoxy overlay on top. The, the overlay is starting to peel up, deteriorate, break up. Um, VDOT is going to be doing some testing uh, to figure out what's the best method along with the Transportation Research Council what the best method is to get something to adhere to that polymer deck. Why did it not last any longer? <coughs> That's a good question. <laughs> and I think I have one, one of the answers is this is a view of the underside of the deck. And you'll, you'll notice these, these beams run longitudinally along the bridge. On top of each beam are these neoprene pads. And um, they're a filler between the top of the beam and the bottom of those panels. The, beam, the, the panels span over multiple beams. So as a car drives across this, um, the panel flexes. And the reason for that is because the pads are no longer in place. Uh, you see how the pads are hanging down here. This is a pad that's hanging down below the beam, multiple locations. So the pads have, have shifted, have moved over time, and so now there's, there is a flex in those panels. So you can imagine a, rid, a rigid overlay like epoxy on top of a flexing panel, it just cracks. So that could be one reason. Have you ever seen this used in bridges before? I have not seen fiber reinforced decking before. It's not it's not something that you see very often. Was it some out of the research council or was it What's that? An acceptable practice? Is it something it is. It, yeah. it's not something that they were it's not some <laughs> it's not some research guinea pig yeah. project, okay. you know. I I mean, um, I've I've heard of this being done before. We just don't have a lot of bridges in this area of the state that have this type of type of decking. So Wish we didn't have this. No, I understand. I understand. And then uh, your your newest addition to your inventory is um, structure 1805 South Durant Road over Jackson River, built in 1971. It was recently repaired last year by VDOT. Um, you can see the ratings; they're good. Um, <coughs> VDOT painted the entire bridge. They put an overlay on the deck on the sidewalk. There's two items that we noted in the, in the inspection that we did in January that we feel should, should be repaired. Um, whether or not that's done by VDOT or whether that's done by the city, I, I, I can't speak to that. But um, the item on the left is, this is a diaphragm at abutment B, a cross frame. And you notice it's freshly painted, but they didn't repair the damage, um, the damage to this top cord of the, of the cross frame. It, it has a lot of section loss. You can see a couple holes there. If it would have been me, I would have repaired that and then painted it. And then these are the approach sidewalks leading up to the bridge. Uh, in my opinion, this is just a safety hazard. I'm just asking for somebody to, to trip and fall. <coughs> they could repair those and, and uh, you wouldn't have that problem anymore. And we have requested meet up uh, assistance with this project. Okay. What is that? I've not, not heard back yet, man. That's all I have. Appreciate it. Any Thank questions? What was told about all of them to go? Um, let's see. I didn't add them up. Take, uh, take Ray, yeah, take, take Ray on out. So we have uh, 71 plus 221 plus 320. 302, uh, so I apologize. 26. 
32, and then this one, 78. <coughs> Any other questions, Kevin? Any other questions? <coughs> Mayor, obviously this is additional infrastructure that <coughs> over the years. It, it should have been worked on over time. It hasn't. That's why we're bringing this to you tonight to show you what needs to be done. Um, and we discussed, do you phase this in? Do you try to do it one time? That's our recommendation is we try to do this, uh, you know, go ahead and knock all this out because it's been neglected for years. Of course, that's going to be prohibitive to do that with, with the current budget. Um, so we wanted to get your input uh, in approval, if you will, to, to look at some different funding options to maybe borrow some money to, to, uh, to make these repairs. With the note, as Chad said, we are, I mean, I hope we can get the, the, the VDOT good repair yeah, building. The, and that's the, competitive, but it's... The Rayon Bridge is, is an issue. Mm -hmm. The sixes and sevens on these other bridges, we don't have to do it right now. We can, <coughs> we can let those go a little longer. We can do them in pieces if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, cost. Love. Love. Yeah. The benefit to doing them in, in groups, multiple, as you know, as you know, would be that you, you get one contractor in and you can work on multiple groups at a time. But I, I also understand that you have budgets. So. <laughs> But we're going to do our best to, to help you, help you, especially on uh, on the on the Ram, yeah, that's, on the Ram drive. To me, that's the, that's the key right now mm -hmm. is the Ram bridge. And what can we do here? Uh, Another. I, I, I just uh, expansion joints at White. Mm -hmm. uh, that's probably one of the most serious issues to me. Mm -hmm. Another benefit from talking to Alan is I understand there's supposed to be some economic development over there on the other side of the rail bridge possibly. Um, and so um, as part of the criteria for the SGR funds, economic development plays into that as well. So it's a, it's a judging criteria as well. So that would yeah. be in your favor. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Good report. Appreciate it.